Welcome to Driftwood and Shine. Hey guys, I'm Debbie. Um, today, we are fixing to create something that's useful. Useful and needed around here, around this house. You know that we live on a, a ranch, farm, whatever you want to call it. We have some horses and we have a lot of cows. So, anyhow. So, we're fixing to create something useful. But, we're going to make it pretty because it's going to be sitting in my house okay so we're gonna cut okay on a bottle we're taking a bottle just a 16 ounce bottle and we're gonna cut about half of the you know on a flat spot of a bottle we're gonna cut about half way and I've just got a knife if you had a little jigsaw it probably worked better or something but I can I can eventually get this started it takes a minute <laughs> Once it starts, it goes pretty quick then. And it doesn't have to be exactly even. Guys, you do want to try to have it a little bit even, but it doesn't have to be exactly. So that's how quick. Quick you can cut them in two. So we've got two parts. Now I don't, listen, I don't want to put this in my kitchen in my living room anywhere. I mean, this is ugly. So, what we're gonna do, y'all know I use turquoise a lot. So we're gonna take, and we're gonna paint him. And this is chalk paint. Now, if you're using acrylic paint, you might have to do even three coats. I'm gonna, um, I can get away with two on chalk, with chalk paint. you just literally and I'm just using a foam brush to paint it now you could use a regular brush guys y'all know that you could use a regular brush and you want to try not to have any um, just like when we always paint try not to have any gumps you know but y'all hang with me so I can tell you what we're gonna put in it that's the that's the key to the flask fly trap part of it. And I'm sitting here burning up as usual. I am leaving my air running all the time here in the living room. And it seems to, guys, it seems to be working a little, maybe a touch better. I don't know. When money provides, I'm going to get me one of those little split units. That's what I've decided, I think prayed about it and that's what I feel that would be good okay now this is one coat and one coat doesn't look too bad see that's one coat and then I take my top and do the same but I just you only go about you don't have to go the whole way you just go about from there up But I just didn't want to put just a plain old bottle. I said that will not work. That will not work. Now, there, there's that. Now, I've already painted one, and it's not quite dry, but we're going to go on with it anyway, guys. We're going to go on with it anyway. Well, it's way not dry, but we're still going to go on with it. What I did... <laughs> was measure me out some diamond, um, diamond wrap. What do you call it, though? Bling wrap, bling wrap. And so all I'm gonna do, oh, you know what? I didn't even turn my hot glue gun on. Let's go ahead and mix it up then. While I'm waiting on that, let me show you what we're gonna put in it, okay? Okay, I've got my sugar here. My measuring spoon, this is a table measuring spoon, tablespoon table measuring spoon. You measure a table by that? Yeah. In here, a tablespoon. And we're going to put three tablespoons, guys. Three tablespoons of sugar in our our little jar. Three tablespoons of sugar. Okay. We got our three tablespoons of sugar. 
setting them to the side. Then we're, I don't, I'm not gonna measure this, guys, because y'all know how honey is and it sticks to everything. So even if you try to measure out a tablespoon of honey, it's hard to do. So we're just guesstimating because it's not rocket scientists. I mean, rocket science, we're not baking something. We're just trying to catch some flies, right? So we're just gonna put us a tablespoon of honey, just guesstimating. Just guesstimating, a tablespoon of honey. And then, um, Okay, that's looking good. And then I've got a third a cup of water here. I don't think I'm using the whole third a cup. I'm gonna pour about half of it in there. Trying not to get it on my paint. And then you just mix it up. You don't want a runny water consistency. You still want it to be kind of thick. That's why I'm not pouring all the water in there at one time. Oh, I think that's perfect. And then, and I, did, I don't have it here, but I will put a capful, just a capful of vinegar in it later. I don't have it with me right now. But we're gonna go ahead now. Let's see if our gun is hot enough. This is not dry, so I'm hoping it'll stick good enough to to work. I don't know why I didn't turn my hot glue gun on. I had it sitting right beside me, and it's not ready yet. Ugh. But anyhow, this smell is supposed to draw the flies, guys. So we will see, and I will let you know if it really works because you know i'm all about something that really works because i have so many flies around here because of all these cows i know it's because of the cows because i've had horses all my life and we've not had flies like this since i've moved up here and had so many cows around us so i'm blaming it on the cows <laughs> but let me show you this in the meantime i don't know if you can tell this that's the one coat and see it's just not that's not thick enough to me i would definitely definitely do another coat on that one and I will because it will go with my house too so I'll do another coat on it let's see if this one's even near bad enough to some of it's really dry and some of it's not but in the meantime while I'm waiting on my hot glue gun to heat up let's see if it is yet oh it is okay Got me some hot glue right there. I'm gonna just stick it right at the top, guys, right at the top. And hold it a minute and let it dry. And I'm just, I just fixed my jar up. I didn't want it to just be old plain Jane. A little off, gotta cut one off, a little long. But I mean, this is literally just gonna sit on the counter, so it's not gonna hurt that it's still wet paint. Not gonna hurt, but look at that. Isn't that cute? And see, it'll be sitting on the counter. Once it gets good and dry, it'll be, have a, um, you know, a matte appearance because it is chalk paint. And then on the top, I'm gonna just do two rows. That's just what I wanted to do. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to that one. No rhyme or reason. Put me some glue right there. Lay our diamonds in there, our diamonds, our beautiful diamonds. And then I'm one too long there too. our diamonds look look how cute and then all you do and I know it's still a little wet but it's not gonna matter because once I put it in there it's not like I'm gonna keep going back in there and messing with it but look guys 
Isn't that cute? And they say that the flies will go in there to that mixture and hopefully stay. And I will let y'all know. I will let y'all know if it works, if it doesn't. But hopefully it will, because that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And we got it decorated so he don't look like just a painted bottle. I mean, he kind of does. But he has a cute appearance. But let me show you now before, before I get off here. I just want to show you our jar, our cement kind of mud jar from last night. Guys, it is stunning. I love it. Look at this thing. And see where we put the, where I thought was lighter was darker. You see all this around here where we put that? That was darker, and it made a kind of cool darkness there. Look at that. And I did go ahead and cover my bottom after it got dry enough I could, you know, hold it. And this is just with the silver, the, the metallic silver here. But look at that thing. Isn't that awesome? And it, I mean, you'd really just from across the room, you'd never look at that and know that that was a glass face. I love it. Love it, guys. Love it. All right, that's it for right now. Um, I do have more crafts, like I said last night. And I, guys, I was so tired. I just went to bed last night. I'm sorry. But um, hopefully today I'll get on and when we get back from church. As far as I know, we don't have anything after church tonight. And with me and Sonny being on our low carb watching, there's not a whole lot of places we can go eat because there's not a whole lot of places, things you can eat out that I can even think of right now. But anyhow, we'll see you hopefully later tonight. Um, I've still got the same three crafts sitting here and then I've got others already ready too. So I've got to get busy. I've got tons I want to get made, tons to do. We've got to make it, hey, we've got to make our tea cart this week. I'm so excited about the tea cart. I'm excited about it. Um, so let's, let's just be looking forward to lots of things, okay? All right, guys, I love you. Y'all go make you a very useful, pretty fly trap. All right? Love you guys. Move that out of the way so I don't get paint on myself. <laughs>